Today in art class we are talking about Central and South America and we're going to be learning how to make some paper molas. Now a molas is a special garment that women can wear in Panama around their waist. It's very colorful and it's a lot of different kinds of cloth sewn together with embroidery and all kinds of beautiful colors. So this is what we're going to be doing. Now let me show you how we'll do this. We're going to start with a small sheet of construction paper like this. Everybody in first grade is going to be getting a little template. Now this is not something you're going to glue to your paper. This is just a template. That means we're going to use it to trace around. So you're going to hold it very still on your paper. You might want to work with a partner if you want to. One person can hold it while the other person traces. And you just go around it with a pencil like this. This is just a little wolf dog thing that I printed off on cardstock and cut around so now we all have the same template to work from for the middle. All right, see how I trace that? All right, that right there, we're going to pick it up and we're just going to cut out the whole thing. Now, so you don't have to wait and sit here and watch me cut. I've got one that's already cut out right there. Now, we also have two other sheets of construction paper. We have a big sheet of yellow. This is just regular 9 by 12 construction paper. And then we have black that I have cut down just a little bit smaller. So if I raise this up a little bit, you can see that when I put that black one on top of the yellow one, it makes a border around the edges. Do you see that? This one's cut, this one's cut to an 8 by 10 size. This is a 9 by 12 size. So it leaves a half inch border all the way around. Now we're going to take that little dog and we're going to glue him down right in the middle. All right. And we'll just be using glue sticks for that. And I'm not going to do that right now. Um, but this is the kind of glue sticks that we're using. So you just take it like this. You glue the back and stick it down. Okay. But you get the idea. I don't want to waste a bunch of your time. Okay. So you're going to stick that down. Then I'll be passing out a whole bunch of construction paper strips like this of all different sizes. You're going to take those and with your scissors, just start cutting little strips like this. We are going to fill all this black space with small rectangles. Now I want you to see how big I made those. That's about the size of my finger. You see that? That's a pretty good size to make them. If you make them too small, it'll take too long. If you make them too big, it doesn't look quite right. All right, so about the size of your finger is perfect. Then you're going to take these and you're just going to start filling in your black space. But you'll leave a little gap in between each one. It's almost like a mosaic, but it's not. And we're actually talking about fabric art from Panama. So this is not something that would actually be done with tile like mosaics, okay? Now we'll also have smaller strips. Now if I cut, if I cut these rectangles from smaller strips, are they the same size or are they different? different? Yeah, they're a little bit smaller, aren't they? Now you can turn these whichever direction you want to and kind of use those to fill in your area. I wanna show you something though. Do you see those black gaps that are in between each one? Keep those smaller than your finger. All right, if you have them spread out a whole bunch like this, it doesn't look quite as cool. It gets, it's, it's just a little too much space and we don't have quite as good focal point right there in the middle. So keep those close together, about smaller than your finger. And then you can add these other ones that are different sizes. And this keeps things looking like with a little bit more variety, a little bit more interesting. Okay, you can take these just then start filling in your whole space. Now, once you've done all that with rectangles, then you can come back to the little dog in the middle and you can add other shapes to decorate him. You can see that with this one, I used a lot of triangles, I used some rectangles, some squares, and I filled in that space a little bit too. You can, if you want to, go back and look at the original template and that will give you a few really cool ideas for different shapes that you could use for that or you can just make up your own, okay? So that is how we are making a paper mola. That looks awesome. Thank you. It's really cool. <laughs>